to day three of our Lent videos and today we are thinking about a household object. This one isn't so much an object as a thing in our houses and it's a fire. Um, one of my favourite things about our house is that I've hooked our electric fire up to Alexa so all I have to do is say Alexa turn the fire on and as if by magic the fire turns on. I wonder if you've got a, a gas fire in your house uh, or maybe an electric fire like this or maybe you've got a, still an open fire in your house uh, to heat, heat your room um, or maybe it's just radiators. Uh, maybe you've sat outside by a bonfire before. Um, the wonderful thing about fire is that it warms us, doesn't it? It warms us up when it's cold. Uh, throughout winter we We've had this fire on when we come down early in the morning with the kids before the central heating's had a chance to warm up the house. We put this on for a couple of minutes, um, usually about quarter to seven in the morning with the kids. It, it warms us up, doesn't it? Fire warms us. Um, we like to be near fire. But fire's also really dangerous. Um, there's, of course, no actual fire in this fire, uh, just moving lights to pretend it's there. But in a bonfire outside, or maybe if you've got like a, a fire pit or something like that, um, it can be contained and it can be nice to sit around it. But if it gets out of control, it can be really dangerous. Fire can be nice and warm, but it can also burn through things, can't it? It says in the book of Malachi, um, chapter 3, this is, this is the last book in the Old Testament. It says this, But who can endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he will purify the descendants of Levi and refine them like gold and silver until they present offerings to the Lord in righteousness. God is described as a refiner's fire in the Bible. A refiner's fire is the what helps get impurities out of precious metals. So you would take a lump of gold and you would put it in the fire and make it really, really hot. And all the impurities, all the muck in there, all the stuff that wasn't gold would burn out of it, would melt off, would be burnt off. So you would be left with pure gold or pure silver if you were looking for silver. And so God is described as a refiner's fire what God does, what the Holy Spirit does, is it he comes and strips out of our lives all the muck and mess, if we invite him to. He will come like a refiner's fire and strip out all the muck and mess from our lives so that we can become like pure gold, precious metals, so that what is left of us is the, the best bit of us, the most uh, wonderful, uh, loving bits of us. And as we ask God, as we invite the Holy Spirit to be a fire within us, we're asking God to remove all that muck from us. So my action for today is why not spend a moment in prayer asking God, asking the Holy Spirit to be like a refiner's fire in your life, pointing out places where he needs to come and remove the impurities from your life.